Welcome back to No Click Bake Recipes. Want to learn how to make creamy cilantro and calamari spaghetti? Well, come on in. All right, first take a bunch of cilantro. Now remember, in Europe it's cilantro and in Asia it's coriander. Both terms are synonymous. Give it a rough chop and set it aside. Take a medium-sized cuttlefish, about 0.7 pounds, that's about 300 grams. Now remember, calamari, cuttlefish, squid, synonymous again. Twist off the head and pull out the guts and cuddle bone. The cuddle bone's the transparent plastic looking thing. Run it under a tap and clean thoroughly. Next, remove the shiny membrane and skin. It's pretty therapeutic. Now, if this scene reminds you of Ridley Scott and 1979 Alien, I don't blame you and you're not alone. Pull off both wings and set aside with the head. Next, slice open the clean cuttlefish body, flatten it out and make crisscross cuts on the inside of the cuttlefish as shown on screen. Do not cut all the way through. I repeat, do not cut all the way through. Cut pretty deep but not all the way through. You've done all the hard work so far. Don't spoil the party now. Now, if your knife skills aren't all that great, don't worry. Pay attention, slow down, make sure you don't cut yourself because we're trying to make a great dish, not head over to the emergency room. Watch the video carefully and you should be fine. Don't worry. You've got this. Next, Cut the cuttlefish into rectangular pieces as shown. Next, chop up the removed wings, cut off the tentacles off the head and chop it all up into a bit of a mince. Now the reason why I took the gloves off is because cuttlefish are super slippery and I want to make spaghetti and calamari, not spaghetti and fingertips. Let's just say that I know of a person that was overconfident of his knife skills, started to think he was Gordon Ramsay, started chopping a little too fast and ended up in the emergency room. So take care. Safety is paramount. Take care of yourself. All right. Hot pan, high heat, and two heaped tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter melts, add one teaspoon of oil to prevent the butter from burning. Add the minced wings and tentacles and saute for two minutes. Remember, high heat is essential. You've got to really caramelize the cuttlefish mince, get the mallard reaction going. Trust me, the difference in flavor is chalk and cheese. Add two teaspoons of salt and add two tablespoons of tomato paste, not puree, paste. Remember, tomato paste. Add two teaspoons of red chili flakes. Add one teaspoon of black pepper powder. And roughly chop five cloves of garlic and add it to the pan. Now, if you're finicky about peeling garlic, first crushing them with the flat side of your blade is an easy way to remove the skin. Next, add a quarter cup of water and reduce for a couple of minutes. And then add the cuttlefish rectangles and cook for three minutes. High heat is essential, remember. Add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and bring the cream to a boil. The heavy cream is what's gonna give this dish its thick, creamy, gooey texture. Add the chopped cilantro and cook for two minutes to extract all the flavor into the pasta sauce. Time to cook the spaghetti. To a pot full of hot water, add a liberal amount of salt. You know the Italians say that pasta water should taste like the sea, so don't be afraid to be generous. 
add the pasta to the boiling water and cook for 8 to 10 minutes. If you're using fresh pasta, cut the time by half, but if you're using store-bought pasta, 8 to 10 minutes should be just right. Strain the pasta and add it to the creamy sauce that we've made. Mix the pasta really well with the creamy sauce that we've made, and if the sauce seems to be a little too runny, cook it for a couple of more minutes, reduce the sauce until you get this creamy thick coating coating the spaghetti noodles. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you've made creamy cilantro and calamari pasta. One of the best dishes that you're gonna ever try, I guarantee you. Now, here's your job. You need to make this dish and tell me how it went down in the comment section. So without further ado, I want you to try this recipe. Good luck! And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to No Clickbait Recipes, the home for great recipes on YouTube. And remember to tell all your friends too. Thank you.